Good morning, everybody. I hope that you're doing well today. I just wanted to share a quick word with you. It's been on my heart really most of last week. and I preached along these lines yesterday, but it's on the topic of oppression. Oppression. To be oppressed, it, it means to be weighed down are burdened down mentally or spiritually. It can be an overwhelming sense of failure. Like you're not enough, you're not good enough, you don't measure up. It can be an overwhelming sense of guilt and shame. And I really believe that oppression comes when we begin to look at our own performance, our own abilities, rather than what Christ has done for us and who he is within us. It's amazing to me how we can have an incredible encounter and an incredible time with God at church on Sunday but then either by Sunday night or Monday morning, it feels like the weight of the world is on our shoulders. And the enemy, he wants to work in that. He wants to lie to you. He wants to oppress you. He wants you to be weighed down, to be burdened down. He wants you to walk in shame and guilt. But I, I believe that the word of the Lord is nothing has changed between yesterday and today, Jesus, he loves you. His blood is enough for you. The power of the Holy Spirit, it doesn't come to visit you. He lives inside of you. He wants to work through you. God is not a man that lies. He's not the son of a man that would change his mind. And the Bible says that God is for us and not against us. The Lord gave me a scripture really dealing with this in 1 Peter 5 and 7 it says cast all your care upon the Lord because he cares for you this means every burden every situation man sometimes God will move and we would just so we'll feel so good about what God is doing and it's not our ability. We're just excited about revival, man. People are getting saved. People are turning their life around to the Lord. And we're excited about what God is doing. But then one Jezebel will come and spew her poison out on us. And the next thing we know, we're, we're running for our lives and asking God to take us home to heaven like the journey's over. That's why we need to cast all our care upon the Lord. Every situation, what people said, every misunderstanding, um, you know, bills you're worried about paying, that job that you don't know how much longer you can endure there, family problems, marriage problems, the, the struggle and difficulty that's associated with trying to raise kids in this world. Hey, you better cast your care upon the Lord. There's things I, I don't know yet how I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to put that thing in God's hands. It's not going to cause me to drown. I'm not going to be oppressed today. I'm looking to be a vessel of the Lord. I'm looking to carry living water to a dry, thirsty world today. And I can't do that if I'm weighed down in shame and guilt that's really over something that I didn't even do. I had nothing to do with. It's my emotions lying to me. And it's demon spirits that would come to antagonize me or to weigh me down. The Bible says, cast all your care upon the Lord because he cares about you. You have to know that your life matters to God. All the details matter to God. And you have to be confident in that and lay those burdens down at the foot of the cross and let your fight not be a fight against people, not against the ones that are gossiping about you or trying to tear you down. Let your fight be a fight of faith. 
Jesus, I'm trusting you. I believe that what you did for me, it's mighty. It's powerful. If it could wash my sins away, then I know it can help me with whatever it is that I'm dealing with today. Listen, the next verse says, 1 Peter 5 and 8, it says that you have an adversary, the devil, and he's a roaring lion looking for somebody to devour. There's a reason those two verses are connected together. You better cast your care upon the Lord because the devil's looking to swallow somebody up today. And I believe the ones that end up falling prey to the enemy, a lot of times they're the oppressed, they're the weighed down, they're the burdened down. They are the ones that are given more space to the lies of the enemy and the problems in their life than they are the power of the gospel. If you feel oppressed today, lift your hands in your car, in your workplace, walk outside and go around back. Lift your hands up, lift your voice, begin to praise the Lord. Thank Him for His goodness in your life. Thank Him for washing your sins away in His precious blood. Thank Him for writing your name down in the Lamb's Book of Life. Pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Set your affections on things above and let the Holy Spirit lift you out of that pit. You weren't born for oppression. You were born to be raised, to sit with Christ in a heavenly place. You were born to live, to walk with Christ in victory. Father, we thank you for this day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and I'm going to be glad today. God, I'm praying for the body of Christ. I'm praying for pastors. I'm praying for preachers. Lord, that may be down about things that happened or didn't happen yesterday. Lord, let them hear what you said to Elijah. Rise up and eat because the journey, the things I've got in store for you, my child, are too great for you. Lord, let us eat that spiritual manna today. Let us be made strong. Jesus, we thank you that your blood is enough for Mondays. It's enough for the week that we face. Strengthen your people. Oh God, move in our nation. God, move in America. Send revival. Bring prodigals home. Strengthen the body of Christ. Lord, let the fire fall upon us and, and consume us, Lord, and let us do your will in this earth today. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen.